It is an absolute beautiful summer evening. I'm doing like one of my favorite things in the world, which is channel catfishing. I've got this beautiful snag right here. I mean, look at this thing. It's got to be loaded, absolutely loaded with channel catfish. So I'm, uh, I'm excited. I haven't been fishing in a while. Let's get loaded. You know, one of the great things about channel catfishing and just catfishing in general is that as you wait for a catfish to bite, you can just soak in all your surroundings. I've always been a, a fan of critters and just, you know, um, just nature. And this bank here, um, when I first pulled up to it, I noticed right along this entire bank are all these little frogs. Actually, they're, they're toads, they're not frogs. If you're a, a real animal nerd, you know the difference. But they're toads, they're, they're little toads. They blend in really well uh, with the bank. There's one over here, there's one in a little burrow over here. I see one just peeking out over there. Super cool, I've never seen that before. I don't know if they're just burrowed in these little holes. They spend their day in the in these holes and then at night they come out to feed. I'm not really sure how that works, but I've never seen that many little uh, toads in one area. On this particular river, there's so many different mammals. I mean, there's mink, there's beaver. Anytime you're just, you know, waiting for a bite, you see all of these different critters come out. It's just one of the things that I really, really love about catfishing. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go, there we go. There we go, there we go. That's a good cat. There we go. This is a good cat right here. Yeah, and he's in the trolling motor. He's, oh boy, is this a good cat. This is a good cat right here, big cat. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hello there, darling, hello. I was waiting for you to show up. I was waiting for you to show up. Let me put you in this net that's not big enough. Oh my God, I gotta get better at this. I really, really gotta get better at this. I really gotta get better. I mean, really. Come here, get in this net, you big. I'm gonna have to. Uh. Come here. Oh, ugly, ugly. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello! All right, I got a catfish. Hallelujah almighty. Okay, get in here. Ah. All right. Nice cat. We're getting to the time of the time of the evening where they really should start biting. Okay, all right, buddy. All right, there we go. Let's show you off to this camera over here. Ugh, I can turn around. There you go. Oh. <laughs> this is kind of a mess here. All right, buddy. There you go. <laughs> they get a lot bigger uh, in here. Ugh. But this is a good channel cat. Good channel cat. I'm not complaining at all. All right, bud. Let's, uh, let's get you back in the water, okay? All right, buddy, let's let you go here. <sighs> nice cat. Little smile for you here. There you go, bud. There you go. All right, whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. There he goes. So what I'm using are cut suckers. Um, it's what I'm using for bait. And I just cut them into uh, like one inch squares and then here are the heads too. The heads are like my least favorite part to use because they're just harder to hook and I always worry that um, the hook point isn't gonna be as exposed and uh, as I want it to be. The main body of the sucker is much softer and easier to hook and uh, the head is just full of bone and I just, I worry that um, you know, when a catfish eats it, it's not going to get a good uh, hook, uh, you know, hook penetration into the mouth. So I tend to uh, not use the heads a lot. They're kind of a last resort. Um, but yeah, I just basically cut them in, in one inch kind of squares. Um, got the suckers in here. I try to keep them alive. 
Uh, that's why I, I aerate them. I think it's best to have them fresh, but um, I, I've heard conflicting things about that. You know, some people really believe it's important to uh, have fresh suckers, so that's why I just I err on um, that kind of principle that it's better to have them, you know, alive than dead. But right now I have the uh, aerator off because it's so loud, but I'll turn it on here shortly. All right, we're gonna go to a fresh new spot uh, just downstream a little bit. Problem with this area right now after catching that catfish, uh, I think it could be all stirred up in there. I know uh, two spots downstream, untouched, um, that should have them in there. Uh, great looking snags. I've caught them uh, in these spots before, so we're gonna head down there right now. We are coming up to a beautiful snag right here. Hopefully, we can catch a giant out of it. Just tell you quickly what I'm uh, using. This is a this is Elite Tech Predator rod. It's a medium heavy fast. Uh, it's eight foot. And um, what other? Basically, this is just a TR100G Shimano that I'm using. Uh, it's a, uh, it's got a clicker on it. And then um, I've got 25 pound test line here. And you'll notice I have no leader. I just got a no roll, two ounce uh, slip sinker, a little bead, and then a two aught kale hook is what I'm using. I'm using that two aught. Um, I just uh, like that because a little bit smaller, I got smaller suckers. And that's the setup. Right there. And now we wait. Jeez, I already got a bite. I already got a bite here. Bring it. Good, good fish too. Here we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Big, big fish. Really big fish. Oh, this is why you need this medium heavy rod like this. Why is that? That is a big catfish. Wow. I don't know if my... it's coming right at me. There we go. Sorry, I didn't. <laughs> I'm an amateur. That's a big catfish. That's a big catfish. I forgot to disengage. Wow, what a fish. I gotta get him out of that stuff. Whew. This is a giant. This is a giant. I just realized I didn't even anchor or anything. So I gotta, I gotta get on the bank. Wow, what a giant. This is a giant catfish. This is a giant catfish. Maybe the biggest catfish I've ever caught. I don't even know how. I don't even know how I'm gonna get them. I don't even know how I'm gonna get them in this net. I got them. Yes! Woo! This is a giant. Oh my god, what a catfish. What a catfish. I'm so wound up. Oh. Oh. Yes! Oh, this spot has been good to me. I've caught a big one here last year. This is a giant catfish. Wow, Ooh. come here. Wow, what a big catfish. This is a giant catfish, my God. I tell you, this is a big, big catfish. You ready for this? Oh. I mean, it took no time. Look at that catfish. Look at that catfish. Oh, that is a giant catfish. Oh my gosh, what a giant. <laughs> <laughs> that is what it's all about right there. That, look at the mouth. Look at the mouth of that dude. That is a giant, 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 beautiful. Be I mean, maybe not to, ah, he nearly, he's so big, he nearly just broke my wrist. Oh my God, what a catfish. Okay. Oh, look at that mouth. Do you see that dude? Look at that mouth. All right. 
All right, I gotta get this guy on. Ah, this is such a giant. Wow, what a mouth on this guy. What an absolute, and he stinks because he's just, he's been in the, on the bottom just rolling and crap. <laughs> Look at that. What, what an absolute monster. What a monster. I, I, I guess we, we gotta weigh him real quick here. I mean, really. Let's see what we got here. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, bud. I've never, this, this is just a giant here. I gotta get this. I don't want him out of the water for too long. Uh, I mean, he's, he'll be fine. I mean, he's a, catfish are really tough, but. All right, let's see what we got here. Wait for it to zero out. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have to stand up for this. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 12 pounds, 11 ounces. 12 pounds, 11 ounces. Oh, 12 pounds, 11 ounces. All right, all right, bud, there he goes. Bye-bye. No, go that way. You're going the wrong way. You want to go that way. Go this way. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bud. Bye-bye. Wow. It's been an awesome evening. It's so good to be out on the river again. It's been a long, long winter. And then with all this pandemic crap, I've been stuck in the house. So I'm a little rusty, a lot of cobwebs, but uh, it's good to shake everything off and start getting kind of ready for the rest of the summer. And uh, I, I'm so excited about the rest of the catfish uh, season. Summer to me is catfish season. So um, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time that we upload content. Thanks, guys.